Okay, so observe everybody here is... Oh, shit, we have a fifth one. <laughs> I forgot that we have a fifth one now. What the hell are you supposed to be? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Lobotomy Corporation. I'm your host, the bird, known as Falcon. So, if you caught the last episode, you would be fully aware that we perished, we died. The Red Shoes got out of quarantine. It slipped itself onto the feet of one of my female agents, and everything went batshit insane. We all died and perished. Now, I mentioned that video as well. Do you guys want to see more of this? Because we died. And my fear about the series is that because it is re it's not repetitive, but it's trial and error. You die in order to learn. You die, learn some more. You die, you learn some more, etc, etc. So my worry about this is for a series, people might get bored of it, might get annoyed by it. So what I did here was, is that everybody was very adamant about Falcon play some more, goddammit. So I'm playing some more here today. But what I did here is off camera, I got up to day number six, as you can see on the screen right now. What this means for us now is that if I was to die again... We don't have to start in day number one. We can now start in day number six with agents and just different abnormalities as well. So, I played up to day number six off camera. This is now our checkpoint. If we die, we don't have to go back to day number one, which is great. So, without further ado, if you guys are enjoying it, keep letting me know. And if you're happy about the day six thing, do let me know if you want me to go back to day one. I guess I could do that, but I think day six is a really good medium where it's not going to become repetitive. Plus, we actually have a new part of the um, facility unlocked now, which I haven't played around with. So I'm coming in blind now as of day six forward. Let's actually go into continue. Alrighty, guys, and so this is how the facility looks in day number six. Now, as I mentioned, I have not played this. I got up to day number, I finished day five and I stopped playing then and there because I still wanted to come in not knowing what to expect. Um, so here is our original facility, right? And we now have unlocked this level down here. Which apparently you can assign three different agents to. Now, this is going to be completely different from the first one. I have no idea how this works out, but it does have a completely different description. Now, for the control team, we know what it does, right? They go over there, they talk to the monsters, they try to get energy off of them. This down here is actually called the Information Team. Uh, this department classifies the risk and characteristics of abnormalities and presents and carries out solutions. They figure out solutions based on observation records and interview data from the Welfare Management Team. They also conduct tests in an effort to come up with more solid and safer solutions. All of the information of abnormalities in the, is a result of consistent observation and countless sacrifices, not just sheer luck. These are not my words. They asked me to. Interesting. So down here, I guess you get a better look at what the monsters are all about. So maybe we get like more detailed facts in terms of how to deal with the monsters. Like, you know, maybe what type of um, trait they need to have. Obviously, if we have to clean them, feed them, amuse them, etc. If it has to be a female or a male. So that's actually really cool. Okay, that's very good to know. Four males and one female if I did that. You know what, let's roll with this way. We'll have Eugene as our amusement guy alone. So that's fine. Let's go down here to information team now. As for this, I have no idea what I should focus on. So I will do, I guess, one of everything. We only have males left over. Not a lot of females, which could be a problem. Especially for some monsters really like, like a certain type of gender. So that's all we could do right now here. Charlotte, just stay behind. Uh, chatting, amusement, beatings. Yeah, everything's cool here. Alrighty, well, let's start the day. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure what to expect here. First and foremost, we will pause. So how do the new people work? Like, what do they... What the hell is... Oh, wow. Oh, shit. So I read this in the forums. Apparently in day number six, you get, like, more detailed information about your people. Like, you literally get an HP bar. And this right here is their mental health. So you can now actually track it. Oh, wow. That's actually very useful. That's very useful. Now, down below here is our information team. What do you guys do? Like, what do I what do I have you do? Do you just hang out here or what? I don't know. I, I don't know what they do. I guess we'll figure it out soon. All right, so let's start off with the easy one, obviously, which is going to be one sin. First thing we're going to do is just talk to him. So communicate. We cannot... Huh, it's letting me use people from the information team as well. That's kind of weird. So the information team can come up here and help me out as well. Okay. Cool, I guess. Good to know. Um, so one sin is going to be communication, obviously. Let's send... I mean, I, I mean, we already know everything about one sin, so no, no, we won't use you. We'll use Mabel? We'll use Mabel. Actually, let's send a female in there just because I know for a fact that if we have to go talk to the Red Shoes, it shouldn't be a female. So Quinn, you go talk to one sin. Uh, we have an observation available for the spider monster, obviously. So who's going to do this one for me? Success rate. Ooh. 
Success rate is kind of low for my people here. Well, it's not low, low, but Shoddy got low, low, low. We can't send anybody that's rational, by the way, or principal. It's because they'll start killing the spiders, and that's going to cause them to die. So I'm going to send... Uh, I guess we'll send Mabel in here. Optimus Mail. Optimus Mail. It's Optimus Prime. All right, cool. We have the old lady as well. In case you guys are wondering, we have the teddy bear. This guy is really dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Um, old lady's down here. I think old lady likes to chat as well. I'm not sure if it has to be a, m a female or a male, though. Let's see. Old lady. She loves chatting. Amusement and cleaning to some degree as well. Um, so for her, I think we need somebody with really strong mental health. So I think for her, we'll definitely send Dia in here. And now we have the teddy bear. The teddy bear, let's find out about this guy. Oh, wow, we, we know everything about... Oh, no, we still have a couple of more things to do here. Um, meanwhile, they're doing their thing. I'm going to start reading the stories for you in case you're interested in that as well. So um, for now, though, he loves to be amused. Now, if I'm correct, you cannot send a person to amuse them twice in a row. It's got to, like, you know, change from one person to the other one because if you send somebody twice in a row, they die. Is what you guys tell me in the comments. So amusement by... Oh, boy, will you have Eugene for this? All right, Eugene. Good luck to you, buddy. Okay, so observe everybody here is... Oh, shit, we have a fifth one. <laughs> I forgot that we have a fifth one now. What the hell are you supposed to be? I mean, obviously you don't have a name just yet. Oh, Jesus. What is this thing supposed to be? Figure... Figure is that a blackened... <sighs> Figure is that of a blackened character. Upon closer look, human-like shape was observed. Oh, boy. Y do you like causing fires? I would imagine you probably do. I have no idea how to interact with this thing. So, order activity, what do we do? Well, trial and error. Trial and error. Let's start off by... What do you think something that causes fires possibly might like? Maybe, does it like to be cleaned? Hey, you're all ashy and, like, you know, murky. How about we clean you, Wid? Um, let's send one of my... One of my new recruits down here. We'll send... I don't know. Success rate is very low. It's very low. Oh, no. Ara. Good luck, Ara. Okay, guys. So, everything's now set up. Let's let it run here in real time. Meanwhile, I have stories to read for you, don't I? Old lady. I mean, I do have stories to read, but damn, I gotta pay attention to what they're doing over here, because they could possibly take an issue here um all right hold up caretaking old lady oh god no no you know what i'll, I'll read this later to you guys I, I will dedicate one episode where i just read the descriptions and the stories of these people or not these people but these um abnormalities i would do it now but i'm gonna have to pause and you guys probably want to see some gameplay so i will do like an episode where i just read the descriptions alone how about that so the observation went really well with spider but it does seem uh, we still haven't completely, completely taken care of everything, but it does not like cleanliness work to her. Okay, so no cleaning of the spider bud. Good to know. It is happy. Um, oh boy. One sin I don't have to worry too much about. So let's keep our eyes over here. We have teddy bear, we have old lady, and we have this... Oh no! Yo, you're taking... Oh, you're taking physical damage. So this guy is going to be a physical monster, isn't it? Yeah, red... Attack type is red, which is indeed physical. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna... We're gonna probably lose that character right now. Oh, it does... Is that compound damage? I think it's actually mental and... Yeah, it's mental and physical damage. Oh, man. Uh, it's not looking good for Aura, guys. Well, Spider Bud. We know for a fact you like to be fed as long as it's not a principal worker. So, we'll send Mirabelle out here to feed you. Okay. Ara, get out of there, buddy. Ara's dead, I think, guys. We might as well just keep an eye on it because something's gonna probably happen to Ara. Ara? Oh, Ara made it out alive! Who boy! Who boy! Employee Ara succeeds in finishing cleanliness to whatever that is. As always, the girl doesn't utter a word. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. So now we have some a little bit of information, I guess. Work log. She seems to be frightened by a stranger and is heading to a corner. The girl is talking to herself in the corner, standing still. Ara closely observes the length of the match. There is no one inside the flame. Nothing. Damn, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. Well, hey Ara, you, you survived, thankfully. Go and get your HP back if you can. Um, Spider Bud is about to be fed again. 
We're amusing the teddy bear, which is cool. Remember, guys, remind me, Falcon, do not send Eugene in there again. Give him a break in between, because somebody else has to go over there and amuse that thing. But luckily, everybody's, like, accumulating power for us. Even, even the, the, this burnt figure is, oh, it's unhappy now. Okay, so, anybody but Eugene for the teddy bear. So, amusement again. No, Eugene, not you. We'll send, oh, Ara's hurt. We have to wait. What, what else is a petty, teddy bear like? What else do you like, buddy? Cleanliness, I guess, and talking? Uh, I don't know if we should do that. I don't know if we should do that right now. Uh, let's, uh, well, who else could amuse you? Eugene, but no, it can't be Eugene. So we have to wait for Mirabelle. Hopefully Mirabelle doesn't take any damage from feeding Spiderbud Monster, I think. Arrow needs some more HP, so yeah, yeah, we have to wait up here on that one. Okay, so we could send somebody to talk to you, though, because you're cool. Um, you could send, uh, I guess we'll send Mabel back over here. An old lady chatting. Let's go ahead and send... Uh, let's send uh, Quinn. Is a female pacifist all right for this? I don't know. I think it should be fine. You're unhappy. You're neutral at the moment. You got hearts around you, too. And Spider Butt is being fed at some point. Okay. Let's just hang out here for a bit. Is our power going up or down? I'm not really entirely sure. Uh, let's see. So right now, we could tell that Eugene's mental health is a little bit damaged right now because it's darker. So the darker that blue orb gets, the uh, more mental damage they are, which means they might have a panic and start killing people, whatever. The fire figure down here is unfortunately very, very upset. It is draining us of energy. I don't know a thing about you, though. So what did we do the first time around? We, we, we cleaned it, right? We took a lot of damage doing that, but it didn't, unfortunately. It luckily didn't piss it off completely. Should we try something different? How about we try communicating with it? All right, I'm gonna try communicating. I'm gonna send, should I send my best person, Dia, down there? I feel like we should, but at the same time, not. Eugene cannot do it. Um, like, I don't feel like we should send somebody that's leveled up. We gotta like send somebody to kind of like a quote-unquote sacrifice. I'm gonna send Igori down there. I'm sorry, Igori, you might die, but you know, whatever. Oh, luckily for us, Ara's HP is coming back up. So Ara is gonna be the one that I think amuses the bear once he is completely healed up. Alrighty. So, let's just keep an eye on stuff. Ara, are you healed up now? It looks like you are. So we can come down here and amuse with... Ara. Okay. So there we go. So everybody is interacting with the abnormalities right now. We have a lot of compound damage happening down here. Ooh, we're not having too much luck down here. Ooh, we're not having too much luck. How's it going here, Igori? Oh, we have an observation unlocked, though. That's cool. Okay, hold on. Zoom out. What's happening? So, mood. One sin is at best mood imaginable. Uh, you're being fed over here. We're chatting away over here. Hey, look! Green! Okay, we're doing a little bit better. Kind of. Come on, Igori. Don't fall to it, buddy. Oh, God. It's okay, buddy. You're almost out of there. You're almost out of there. Igori survived. And we had an observation unlocked, too. Unst unstoppable flames shine brightly in the containment room. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that now. So we have Old Lady at the best mood imaginable as well. Uh, we have an observation unlocked, and I think we have to take advantage of this now. So... I'm gonna send... maybe Mabel? Get in there, Mabel. Get an observation for us. Okay. Mood at best. Mood at best. Ara is talking to the teddy bear. Or amusing the teddy bear, anyway. After Ara, we could send Eugene back there again. And Spider, Spider Bud. Let's feed it again with, oh boy. Mirabelle? Quinn? We haven't used Dia just yet, he's my best dude. Let's send Dia over there, I think he'll be fine. Onesen is now unhappy. Communicate. We'll send, oh boy, uh, we'll send... Actually, we need Eugene for the teddy bear, so... I guess Christopher, maybe. Yeah, let's just send Christopher over there. He's, um, Christopher's level 2, or she's level 2, but, you know, whatever. Observation's happening down here. Okay. Let's make sure everything's fine. And Igor is getting his HP back. Great. So we should have uh, our first observation on this, um, I don't know, fire figure, I guess we could call it? It's like a charred body, really. Observation succeeded, which is great. We now have a name. The Scorched Girl. 
Scorch Girl's flames grew bigger as co- as the condition got worse. Employee Aurora got a serious burn from the flame when he entered Scorch Girl's room. Aurora? Who's Aurora? What the fuck is Aurora? <laughs> I don't have an Aurora, do I? I don't remember having an Aurora. Aurora Borealis. Um, okay. Description figure is... Okay, we read that. For whatever reason, a matchstick is penetrating its torso area. Ooh, it is! Oh, wow! You see that? It goes through here and the flames out there. Unlike the generally lit matchstick, the char surrounding it does not show any signs of activity. Because of this, a few employees suggest that the char is a sort of casting... is a sort of casting... casing for the matchstick. Recently, there was a witness stating that the char has been seen in a carrying motion. Why is he calling it a char? In a crying motion. Okay, so... Well, more information about it, which is fine. Our energy is going up, so right now we're doing alright, although... Our... Scorched girl seems to be very unhappy now. Uh, and we don't know a thing about what it likes just yet, right? Caretaking. It's not against being fed, I guess. It's in the positive area, it does seem. But, okay, let's do a little bit of um, problem solving here. Cleaningless, neutral. Fed... Pretty good. So we have what? Beatings and chatting, right? Leftover? We have amusement as well. Maybe it likes to be amused. <laughs> you guys think? Alright, let's try an amusement here. Oh shit, Ara's panicking? How did this happen? Well, well, where's Ara at? Excuse me. I thought Ara was getting. Ara? Ara? Oh, is that what it meant by Aurora? It's far from Ara, man. Where the fuck is Ara at? Can't find Ara <laughs> at all. What, what? Okay, look, man. I can't find this person. You guys see it? I'm zoomed out. Is it in an elevator somewhere? Okay, we'll keep it on close side. That's a problem, though. Shit. I don't even know where it's at. She's at. He's at. I don't even know what the sexes are because the names are so confusing now. Um, Let's try to amuse this thing. With Eugene. Actually, Eugene has to go amuse Teddy Bear, if I'm correct. So amuse Eugene Teddy Bear. And then over here, we'll send Amusement. I guess we'll send Mirabelle. I mean, Mirabelle is indeed somebody we could sacrifice. She's a level 1 agent anyway. Where's Ara at? Oh, Ara's here. Okay, there he is. He or she. It's a he. Um, His panic response is murder. He needs to go down fast. Like, really, really fast. So, um, suppress... Oh, dude... Where's my gun people at? Shit, man. Um, alright, let's send... Mabel and Quinn. To suppress. Okay. Keep an eye on Ara. Oh god, I gotta keep an eye on the monsters, too. There's so much happening right now. We need a activity for the old lady as well. We need a chat. Igory? Alright, Igory. Good luck, buddy. Alright, so the monsters are being taken care of. Oh shit, what's happening here? Why is my story the only tragedy? Are you okay, buddy? Yo. Yo, 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 what's... Stop it. Oh, man, we just lost somebody. I can order activity. Mirabelle is dead. Mirabelle starts Scorch Girl with a... Am... Okay, so, hey! We cannot amuse the uh, Scorch Girl. Apparently, at least to, like, instant death. Or maybe it's because it was a female? I don't know, but Mirabelle's dead. Um, and are you guys taking care of Ara over here? Knock some sense into him, please. There we go, Ara's back to normal. So we- oh my goodness god, we did lose, uh, Mirabelle, though. So was it amusement or was it female? I don't know. But, I'm gonna say we don't amuse it anymore, and we probably go with the feeding instead. Well, actually, we still have to do what? Not that one. We can still beat it, or we can try to talk to it. Alright, let's try to do a talk, maybe. Wit... Uh, Quinn? Okay, Quinn. Have at it. Mood rating at its best. How's our power? 167 to 240. We still need a lot of power, guys. Luckily, Spider Butt's happy. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, here's the, here's the communication with the Scorch Girl. We'll see how that works out. Eugene's dying. What? I, I thought... Did we not do somebody in between Eugene, or did I do Eugene twice and I forgot about it? Because I could forget, so considering I have to, like, fucking micromanage everything over here and do commentating at the same time. I could have sworn we had somebody in between this Eugene visit, right? Well, Eugene's dead. 
he is being smushed it. Well, luckily for us, I do believe whenever the teddy bear squeezes somebody to dead, you do get power from it. So sometimes, even though it doesn't seem like it, it's actually kind of good to sacrifice like low-level dudes if it gives you power. It's what I've read in the comments anyway. Mood rating at its best. Psychologically better. Okay. Hey, we're almost powered up, guys. So all we have to do is survive 10 seconds after the full power. How much do we need? 20 more. Okay. You are doing terrible down here, by the way. Communicating. Quinn? I need you to communicate better with that monster, okay? Okay, what's happening? Teddy Bear is uh, unhappy. Don't start taking my power away, you fucker. So, amusement failed that time. Um, We could try to amuse with Ara. I believe Ara was the one in between Eugene's second visit. So, is it two times in a row, or is it two visits you die? Alrighty, well... If it's two visits and you die, then I'm fucked, but at least I'll learn. If it's not two in a row or like, you know, oh, power, it's almost there. Come on. No, one sin. Why, why would you do this to me, buddy? You're my friend always. You're so easy to... Please. Mabel, go over there and talk to him. Did you... You survived, right? You did survive. The power's going down for Scorch Girl, meaning, oh, this might be a problem. Quinn? Quinn? Can we like... All right, what do you like? You like being fed, right, Scorch Girl? I feel like I'm talking about like a superhero here. What do you like, Scorch Girl? Oh, I like to be fed. Um, all right, let's just feed it. Just feed it, feed it, feed it. Okay, we'll send... Oh, fuck, my best dude. All right, Dia. You're my best dude for a reason. I need you to come through for me, okay? All righty. Come on, power. We're almost there, dog. Come on, you fucking countdown. Hurry up. Tivity. Let's talk to the old lady again, which is always easy. Christopher, go talk to the old lady. Okay. Okay, mood rating at its best. Let's keep an eye on this. I can't lose the... Oh, here's the countdown! Okay, come on, please, keep going, keep going. We're almost done, we're almost done! Come on, what's happening? All right, everybody's talking. Come on, 10 seconds. We got it! We got it! Yes! Hoo-hoo! Ho-ho! -ho! Good God! Day number six is cleared. Promoted agents, optimists, pacifists, rationalists, and rationalists. So we have a couple of level two people now, which is great. And we got Maxim, which will replace... Um, didn't we have two people die? I think we did. So we do need a few more to actually completely fill. Actually, no, we had a couple of people waiting standing by, right? Because we filled out the spots and we had like two people standing by. So we should be fine. Okay, great. Well, we got through this one at the very least, which is great. Um, let's see, now we have the story portion with the AI, Angela. Energy production is increasing. You have proved that you are greater than you thought. Executives are paying attention to you. One of them is a, 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 one of them is aforementioned A. What does that mean? Well, we now have another keyword, a certain measure. Now we have A as well, and that's about it. Alrighty, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We got through. We lost a few people. But you know what? I did pretty well. And you know what? There was no wiki looking. I took your advice and your comments. A lot of people were, like, telling me, don't look at the wiki found because I'm not looking at the wiki anymore. But I am kind of, like, you know, using the advice you gave me in the comments as well. So I'm trying to, like, mediate it a little bit here. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Stick around for the next episode. And we survived. We're on day number seven. I'm actually quite impressed. I will catch you next time.